Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and we've been looking at a lot of Night Eye products lately. Like I've explained in previous videos, they've been making lights for a lot of other companies for a long time, making and designing them. They recently came out with their own brand. They had the i 31st which is a really cool light, really well received. So they came out with a full line of products, so that's why you're seeing a whole bunch of these at once. So this is the TF20. Here's the packaging on it, basic specs on the front and back. I'm gonna go and open it up, show you what you get. So here's the holster and the accessories. Here's the light itself. Let's pull that out. Set it to the side for just a second. And of course you have your user manual, warranty information, and all that other kind of stuff in there. Always worth a read. You'll figure out stuff about the light that you didn't know. It's probably important, like I always do <laughs> in the middle of when I'm making one of these videos. All right, so all the accessories that you get in here. Here is a spare tail cover cap, so in case you need to replace that, that's what that is couple of spare o-rings in case you ever wear out those but uh, honestly keep them decently lubricated and uh, keep your light clean and you don't have any problems with that or shouldn't lanyard attachment ring so this goes on right here take the tail cap off put that on there and that is how you attach this lanyard which is a nice adjustable lanyard and then the combat grip ring which slides on over the end and it goes down here and uh, you can use it with a handgun or whatever other grip you want to use it in, but it also serves as an anti-roll because uh, this thing does roll pretty well on flat surfaces, so this will help keep it from rolling around. Holster, light slides in. I get the flap out of the way. It's open on the bottom, so you can still activate the switch. Flap goes over the top just to hold it in place, and you can actually get it in there a little bit tighter if you want to. So the, whole, the flap goes over the top, hook and loop holds it in place. Hook and loop on the back, so you can use that for an attachment point. Got another uh, slot there, carabiner attachment point there, or rope, or however else you want to attach it. So nice, pretty durable nylon holster. They use a lot thicker nylon than a lot of the other manufacturers out there. Night Eye's been making some pretty nice holsters from what I've seen so far. So here is the light. Let's zoom in on it just so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see great anodizing, great machining, as they've done for all their stuff so far. They've been doing a really good job on their stuff. Stainless steel on both ends, so if you drop it on a hard surface, uh, aluminum is a relatively soft metal, so it can dent and, and uh, damage pretty easily. But if it's just light scratches and stuff like that, this is type 3 hard anodizing, so it'll resist scratching really, really well. Knurling where you need it on the tail, clap, on the tail cap. Bunch of nice big divots on the head, so uh, it's easy to grip. Not that you ever really need to grip the head and turn it, because all of the turning is done with this ring right here. This is how you adjust the output. We'll talk about that more when we get into that. There's the switch on the end. has the logo of the company. love it when companies do that. looks cool. Reflector, smooth reflector. Uh, relatively small smooth reflector with that Cree XML LED. So this is going to be a relatively floody light. Not as bad as a uh, much smaller light, but this isn't going to be a mega thrower or anything like that. I think the specs, they rate it for, let's pull it out. So they rate it for 480 lumens for 50 hours, and they don't put a distance on here. <laughs> so I don't know what the distance this is rated for, but I'd be guessing this is good for probably about 150 meters or so. But we'll see that better when we go outside. So anyway, here's the light. Let's zoom back out. We'll throw a battery in there and uh, show you the interface and everything. So compatible batteries, either two CR123 batteries or an 18650. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you're probably tired of hearing me say this, but since not everybody watches all my videos, I'm going to say it again, sorry. I always prefer 18650 batteries, and the best ones we sell right now are the Eagle Tac 3100 milliamp hour uh, batteries. They're using Panasonic cells. They have nice button tops on them. Great batteries, compatible with pretty much every 18650 light that we have that I've tested it in anyway. Um, really high quality batteries, and uh, for a really reasonable price. And the reason I recommend 18650s over CR123s well, with some qualifications anyway. If you're going to be using it on a regular basis and you have access to electricity, so you can actually recharge these, I always recommend these because even Surefire batteries, you know, you buy a ton of them, you can get them for maybe a couple bucks a piece. That's still a decent amount of money. So every time you re refuel this this uh, flashlight, you're talking about four bucks. These right now are 15 bucks. Even an inexpensive, high quality 18650 battery is still only going to be 10 bucks. So you use these two or three times and you've paid for one of these. So if you're going to be using the light a lot, I definitely recommend 18650s. If you want to buy these in bulk, I'll gladly sell them to you. <laughs> I'll gladly take the sale of a, of a couple hundred Surefire CR123s. But uh, 
if you can, use 18650s because they often give you better run time and uh, the same output. So put an Eagle Tech 18650 in there. Let's go ahead and put the tail cap back on and I'll show you the interface of this thing. So you have the switch on the back, ring on the front, lightly press the switch and you have momentary. Click it all the way for constant on, rotate the ring and it'll adjust your output. And you have a detent when you go to the left that if you go past that, that's how you get into your strobe. So you can kind of hear the clicking. There's detents all the way on this thing, but the one right before the strobe is more significant than the other one, so you can definitely tell the difference. So all the way to the left, is strobe off and then show you where you can see it the first one's pretty low it's a nice low output on that and then as you crank it up it gets really really bright your max 500 lumens or 480 or whatever it was it's a really simple interface I said this on a few other videos but I always recommend these kind of lights if you're looking for somebody that wants to be able to adjust their light but maybe isn't all that technologically proficient you know, somebody that uh, doesn't want to have to do all the programming and all that kind of stuff, most people can understand, hit the end of the light to turn it on, use the ring to adjust it. So, nice option for those kind of people. So that is the uh, interface and everything of the TF20. We're going to go ahead and take this outside and we'll show you how this guy does outside. Okay, we're out here with the TF20. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use. We're going to do the mag light first and then we'll try out the TF20 and see how it does. Let's go ahead and try out that mag light. Little bush 15 feet. Tree out there at 100 feet. Here is your night eye. Go ahead and crank it up to high. 15 feet, no problem. 100 feet, obviously no problem. We'll zoom in just so you can see that better. Out at 100 feet, not a problem at all. Puts out a whole heck of a lot of light. And a pretty big LED, not a massive reflector on this. So you get a wide hot spot, which is a bright part in the center. Very usable spill around that. So it's gonna light up everything. I'll point the uh, light off to the side. You can see that tree, that tree is still lit up pretty well with just the spill alone. So it's kind of nice. You can see Argo trotting across the yard. Who knows what kind of trouble he's getting himself into. <laughs> he's been chasing something all night. And uh, knowing him, he probably won't catch it. He doesn't have the best reflexes in the world. But anyway, very useful beam. Pretty cool light, and you can see how you can quickly adjust through the different outputs. Of course, you can do it a lot quicker than that. And all the way down, and there's your strobe. But uh, you can get to the output that you want, and when you have it turned off, so you can turn it to the output that you want, turn it back on, it'll be exactly where you want. And you can tell just of the, uh, the relation of where it is between the left and right extremes of what output it's going to be on. So really useful, nice interface. All right, let's try it a longer distance to see how this thing does at a longer distance. All right, we have the TF20, some more distance to work with. Still have that 40 mag light, so we'll try it out first, and then we'll give the TF20 a shot. Let's go ahead and try out that mag light. There's my chimney, about 25 yards. Trees in my neighbor's yard at about 100 yards away to the top of them. Doesn't really make it all out to the trees all that well. Here's the TF20. You can see no problem getting out there at all. Tops of those trees, no problem at all. And uh, we'll do a longer distance video before too long just so you can see what kind of distances this thing can really do. It's not gonna go a massive amount further than this just because it doesn't have a big old reflector on it like some of our super thrower lights. But it's a nice compact, high output light. I think it does pretty well. So shine around a little bit. Just crank through some of the lower brightnesses just so you can see even on the lower outputs it still does pretty good job at a distance so there you go that is the night eye tf20 if you like it you can buy it from us at goinggear.com any questions or comments you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com and if you like the video be sure to subscribe we put out a lot of other flashlight and gear videos thanks for watching